What's up YouTube, it's John4877 here. Today I have a tutorial on how to install uh, modded PPF patched uh, emulation games. Uh, what this means is a PPF image is basically this. Alright. This is a PPF image. Um, just so you can tell. Um, with a PDF image, how this works in addition is you patch over a file. Uh, what I have is the Kirby edition mod installed. Uh, the patch lets me put this game on my computer. Okay, so now that's done out of the way, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to install all these types of files, uh, PPFs or whatever. Um, let's start from the beginning. Uh, first thing you're going to, did I delete any of these? Let me empty my recycle bin real quick. What you're going to want to do is first you need a PPF file, so you're going to open your web browser. Player. Okay, what you want to do is search for a PPF image. Uh, in this case, do.12 Super Mario 64 Kirby Edition. Uh, okay. You want to find the release video, which I can't find you. There you are, actually, right at the top. You click on this. All right. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the file from this link here. And it'll take you to the page. Alrighty. When you get to this page, you will get my computer a minute to like, catch up. Alright. When you get to this page, Mr. Kirby Edition, you're going to want to close up on this because this isn't important anymore. When you get to this page, you want to go down to the download link. This is what you want. 1.1 1 .1 zip. Alright. Once you get the 1.0 zip, don't exit your internet browser yet because you need some tools. You should get a zip folder that looks like uh, this right here. Okay. You're going to open it up. Inside should be a folder that says Super 64 Kirby Edition version 1.1. .1. Open that folder. Alright. This is your PPF image that you get the folder. What you're gonna to want to do is go to the README file. I did notice that his ROM extender link does not work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how where I got a quick and easy way to get the ROM extender, and I'll put go down and give credit to those who I get the sources from in the video. Um, all right. So you're gonna go back to YouTube and. Gonna type in Super Mario. Speed it up. 64. Rom extender. Under. Let's see if I can find it here. Jeez. Uh, um. For all intents and purposes, we'll just use this video, but, um, actually, you know what, I have a quicker way we can do it. Never, skip the YouTube part, we're gonna go right to Google again, I have a faster way to get you to link. 
So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go to Google and you're gonna type in Super Mario 64. Oh, excuse me. Type in. Try to make it really slow. Uh, extender. Come on. Extender. Then type in Mediafire. This is a virus free link. Um, so it takes me right back to that. Okay. So I guess we'll go here. Um, yep, this is the right one. Um, credit goes to Daniel Sinclair for the link to this. Make sure you give him credit. So you're going to click this link that he provides to you. I'm going to just click out of this. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the uh, file download now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this all in a custom folder here and medium fire always has these pop-ups but they're virus free I'm trying a virus from it what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder so I can keep everything organized and we're going to call it super Apache tools okay Bam, new folder. Okay. Let's get back to our web page. And our link, which just we'll back out. We'll back at once. I'm going to pause the video here until I get the download done. So, in the meantime, you all can kick back for the third, like, even not even a second. But, so, I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube. I got it to work. Alright, you're going to get this. What you're going to want to do, or what I'm going to do, is you're going to find the folder that you just created. God knows where that's at. There it is. And you're going to save the file here. Or at least I'm going to save it here because it help me, helps me keep uh, the files organized. Okay. You're going to need WinRAR to decompress these files. I'll provide a link in the description for that. Um. Okay. Stupid piece of freaking crap. Why are we doing that? Thing? Drag this folder out. Of this needs decompressed. If this isn't decompressed, it won't work. All right. So this folder is completely useless. Or so you go to the zip folder, and inside is this thing. And what you're gonna want to do here. As you can see, there is uh, this one. You want this one. The reason you need one more is because when you double click it to open, it's going to ask you to extract it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the browse button. I'm going to go patching tools folder here and hit OK. And hit extract. And my computer will extract the files to the folder I commanded it to extract them to. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to where you extracted it. And it should be in there and you should get this one. This program. You are going to need a Super Mario 64 ROM to extend. And I have one available. So I will show that to you. So you want to open up this program. Ask me. This is a program. Okay. Here's the ROM extender, and here's what it looks like. This is what you want. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit Open ROM, and it'll take you into. I might say automatically to put, take me to ROM folder, but wherever you put the ROMs, just go ahead and. All right. Alright, what you're going to want to do is, do, you cannot click these zip ones, 
you're going to want to click these unzipped ones and for all intents and purposes I'm going to rename it pop the liquor I want to rename you can I rename you from the um Super Mario 64. Just so I don't get these mixed up. Okay. What you're going to want to do is you're going to open this up. Bam, bam. And the Rhyme Extender will do the rest. See, and it worked like this. This takes a minute. Not so when we finish this step, and then I'm going to show you how to apply the patch to the file in part two, because I don't want to extend the 15 minutes I got. All right. Um. So here we have. I'm sorry, you can't read. We are waiting for this to uh, decompress the files. While that's going on, I can show you this. This, the original file, which is right here, is a total of 5.96 megabytes. An extended ROM, like this one here. If I can get it to. Just 20, well, I thought it was originally 8. What the? Maybe it's because I have no decompressed. Anyway, I think the original ROM not zipped up in a folder is. Eight. So when you extend it, or makes it larger, so you got like a you get twenty-four megs. Not sure how the math adds. Just know that it makes the file bigger. All right, this is done. You can press, you can press. Now it says done. Now you can close out of the ROM extender. You will no longer need this tool. And you can go back into your ROMs folder to, or in my case, my ROM folder. And you should have smart.64.ext, which would be right here. This is my extended ROM. Okay. In part two, I'm going to show you the applying the patch and the other items. So we'll be right back.